welcome to the weekly whip and chat. I haven't done any diamond painting since the last show. Yes, I am slacking um, because I'm all caught up in cross stitching. I'm sorry, uh, but I'm determined to finish my Victoria's Moon the lion which I'm working on right now and which they sent to me for reviewing and this sweet little black sheep is from Rachel Ray and I got it from one of her glitter bomb packages so I'm very zoomed in here Hello. I'm just. I'm sorry. Okay, so I have a. Do you guys have any glare? No, a little bit there, I think. But I have a lot, so this will kind of go a bit slower. Uh, this is a pen I bought from Etsy. I can't remember her name or the store's name at the moment, but I think this was like. Um, her first she made but so they were kind of cheap but very nice pen and then we have the wax which is crappy wax but I'm like you can't throw stuff away you have to use it up and I have some cheap uh, tweezers because I lend out ones I was using to my mom and to my daughter when she's um, diamond painting and I've been too lazy to get some of the other tweezers out because I have plenty of them from other diamond painting kits now I want to do M and I just realized I need my phone to be able to figure out these um colors because uh i know that m is 550 so i have no problem with that what i should have done is i think it's better to use the stickers where you draw the symbol on them instead then you don't need a key you don't need a legend you don't need anything you just pick the bottle with the right symbol. So, anyway, there's quite a few M's in this part, so we'll do that. And I will go pick my phone when it's time to switch. All right, let's get started. I've also, I, I have a problem lining up uh, my drills. I don't know if it's because it's round and the squares are better. But when I'm trying to, you know, do like this, I tilt it a little bit. Then it seems like they're just flipping over. What am I doing wrong? So, I hope everyone is having a great week. And I'm supposed to say because I am, but I can't say it's more different than any other week. Um, I'm off work today. It's Thursday today. And it is Thursday the 5th of December. God, time is going so fast. And it's like, can it be like 10 plus degrees out? It's kind of windy today. And uh, at the end of last week, uh, we had some snow coming in not too much 
but the problem was that later on that it starts to melt and then it freezes in the night and maybe it rains a little bit so it's been very very icy and there has been a lot of accidents out on the roads I don't know why people don't slow down when it's dark, wet and, you know, slippery. And they don't keep distance and all. So we've had quite, I, I, I don't know, I think it has been like a lot, twice a day. We have this, uh, you know, where I live, this town is like split in two by a big river. And there's a couple of places where you can cross the river on bridges. And there's one big bridge. And there's always accidents on this bridge. Always, always, always. And there have been so many now these days when the snow hit us. And as I said, it's not the snow. It's the ice and the wetness and darkness that causes it. And people don't, you know respect that when they drive so i'm not saying i'm the best driver but i do keep my distance and when it's weather circumstances like that i like this i i don't put my foot on the gas that's for sure so i don't drive aggressive when it's like this so I'm talking about wind. I've started watching the season 15 of Grey's Anatomy. I think I mentioned that the last time. But now I'm on to episode 9. I think I finished yesterday. And why I thought about wind is because there's one episode where there is a storm hitting their town. Oh, it's, it's such a good... Uh, series but you know you kind of you know when there is a new person being hit by cancer you start thinking you know <sighs> yeah I don't know I know it's because it's going to create a story and the drama and all this but it's getting kind of too unrealistic. It's not it's not that I'm saying that the series is is realistic at all, but yeah, I don't know. But you're thinking, you know, they're going to figure out to cure this uncurable aggressive cancer and they're going to be great and they're going to live happy ever after and blah 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 blah. I still love the show. <laughs> I do. I really do. So yeah. See how hard I'm pressing? I'm like, <clears throat> don't do that. <laughs> Just makes you... Yeah, then that's why. Uh, it's the main reason why I have to refill my wax in the pen constantly. But this wax sucks. It does. I'm sorry for whoever sold it to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, I, I love this painting. I, I do. I think it's going to turn out great. I think so. And I hardly have any trash. And yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious if there's going to be enough pearls or drills for the whole painting. Because usually I seem to be uh, kind of unlucky. I'm running out of drills and I should finish up my Arya Stark with the missing drills I received from uh, Sophia's Beauty so I can make a post review um, it would be cool to frame her and get her up on the walls but she's so big and since I'm all into cross stitching now and since I kind of 
chose to try out other cross stitch patterns uh, and not only have an inerts. It's so much fun. I'm so much enjoying that. And I want those, you know, I want my cross stitches up on the walls because that is hard work behind those. So. Yeah, what has been going on last week or this past week? Oh, I'm on my, mm, is it my fourth, third, no, third or fourth week on Weight Watchers. I haven't touched chocolate. I haven't touched any potato chips and dips, which I love. It's Christ Christmas uh, month, and so there's always gingerbreads, there's uh, ugh, chocolates and cookies and foods, and everything, you know. So I haven't touched that, and I have lost over... Two point six kilos. I don't know how much that is in pounds. Anyway, I've lost weight. I'm happy. It feels good. I'm kicking my ass out to start running. Uh, I do have kind of long breaks in between. I've had pain in my feet, but I went to the physiotherapist and they gave me some exercises to do so it's feeling i'm feeling much much better now uh but i'm getting out there uh, and it's so nice afterwards so that's that and yeah i went um no today talking about not eating chocolate and stuff today we're heading out uh, to our town's most popular uh, bakery cafe thingy yeah and you pay an amount and you get you know to taste everything they've made and they they make them uh, you know like if it's uh, cookies and stuff or uh, Christmas candies uh, I don't think they're gonna be like the normal size they make them a bit smaller but you can eat as much as you want so that's gonna be a challenge but uh, hey, you get I guess you drink some uh coffee with that or uh, i also think they're gonna do in sweden we have something called glug and it's hot red wine and you put raisins in it and you put uh, almonds uh, not whole almonds but they're like into small pieces and it's mm -hmm, nice and sweet and tasty and it's perfect when it's hot outside no Jesus, when it's cold outside. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going with my mom and my older sister. And I'm sorry about my nose. My daughter has been having a cold. And since I'm always hugging and kissing on her, uh, I've caught the cold a little, just a little tiny bit as well so I apologize for sniveling let's see now I actually need to go get my my phone so I'll keep filming the diamond painting but you are coming with me out into the hallway into my jacket where I have my phone because I've been out picking up a package which is not diamond painting related but cross stitch related. I bought myself a wooden handmade laying tool. 
on Etsy. And it took a while to get here. All right, let's see. Uh, into the gallery. I need some pictures where I took a picture of the legend. I didn't like the inventory key they sent with um, with the diamond painting, so I just took a picture of it. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so what do you will see? I'm thinking A or Q. No, let's do the half moons. There is not so many of those. Three, three, six. Three, three, six, three, three, six. Here we have that. Oh yes, I want to finish this because I really, 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 really want to try out the Diamond Art Clubs. Um, yeah, there were only the three, those three. Oh, I missed some M's. I knew it. And every one of you are thinking, well, just put this aside and try out the Diamond Art Club. But I'm determined to finish. <laughs> I'm determined. I'm determined to finish a, a diamond painting. I have to just have one finished. I don't have a finished diamond painting because of drills missing or being crap. But I have high hopes on this because it's been working out great so far. Let's do Q. Let's do Q. Q is 719. No, 917. And we have that here. Beautiful color. Yeah. That's. I think that's also why I chose the lion. I'm a Leo myself, but it was the colors in this diamond painting. There are so many pinks and purples. It's not that I'm a pink and purple girl, but when crafting, yeah, I like it. Otherwise, I'm into blues and black. Maybe some turquoise, green blues, yeah. <clears throat> so what else has been going on? Well, as always, I'm like supporting my daughter with her schoolwork. Um, yeah. And since I joined the Weight Watchers again, I need to spend some time uh, cooking and stuff so I don't go eat sandwiches all the time, which I love to eat and which isn't very healthy. So when I'm working and like, you know, you have all the after, after work work, I usually say when I'm finished you know, my work, my job, which, you know, gives me my paycheck. I head home for my second job. And <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not like most people. I don't clean that often. I don't want to spend the time. I rather go for a run. I rather watch YouTube or do some crafting or spend time with my family. <clears throat> so, uh, but yeah, I, I wish I would give myself more time for crafting. Uh, and most people think that I 
get a lot of crafting done and they don't understand how how I can yeah the wax is finished how I can have the time so I guess it's different how you use your time after work I'm not sure but me and my husband were like having Christmas this year that means we're inviting his family and my mom and that means we need to clean so I started a little bit last weekend and we got up our Christmas tree and yeah some some Christmas decorations they're nice once they're up but I rather not put them up because for me it means work <laughs> in a couple of weeks you need to take them down again so either just keep them up the year around or leave them down you know I'm a horrible horrible person but once if you know when we do put them up I enjoy it it's very nice with all the lights yeah oh yeah and this weekend we're uh, having this dog whisperer over our uh, one of our dogs are like act acting differently or she's she's just acting weird and yeah we we knew this uh, person so we've invited her over well we paid for her her of course because it's her job and she's coming over to make some form of uh, assessment is that how you call it so we'll see and I found you know through September and October I've been like spending all my savings on my car almost all my savings and you know everything was done until December and you're like kind of relieved because then it's December it's Christmas and uh, we have you know we need to fix a Christmas gift for my daughter we're having Christmas you know we've invited people over uh, and my daughter's cousins we need to get them some gifts and you're like, well, we're going to manage, we're going to manage. And then I find a big lump on my dog. And yeah, we need to take him to the vet, to the vet of course, to find out what kind of lump it is. Uh, if it's nothing dangerous, can he live with it being there or you know what do we need to do and that those costs at the vet yeah those are hard I need to look at this hold on a sec Yeah, I think I'm expecting a phone call. Uh, hang on a sec. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, so what's next? We'll do a 
and that's three seven seven eight that's one yeah so i applied for another job at the hospital i'm working as a secretary a medical secretary and um It's, um, yeah, it's a step up. Uh, you're, you're, uh, it's like a leader position, uh, which I've applied for, um, for, you know, leader position for secretaries. So, during last week and this week, I've been on three different interviews. And I know that they're having their selection tomorrow. And I was told to not expect a phone call until next week. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm very excited uh, at the same time you know it's a lot of responsibility and there is so much going on at the hospital there is a lot of changes happening and there's a lot of money which needs to be saved and that's never easy on the workers you know so we'll see we'll see we'll see but uh, wish me good luck. Yeah, maybe uh, when it's uh, these leader um, positions, you go to two different uh, interviews. You have one interview with the, like the employees and the union. And, you know, they ask you all kinds of questions. And then you have an interview with the other leaders in different levels, you know. And the, what do you call that? It's like, yeah, these people, they work with... Um, all the, the laws and rules and they support the leaders because like the bosses they they can't know everything in detail so they have people behind them which gives give support like uh, some people have specialized in uh, budgets so you get the support from there and some give you the support in uh, the environment. Yeah, I'm sure you have a special name for it. So, and when you hire people, you know, the rules and laws to that and the working time and rest and everything. So they're also in that interview asking questions. And Uh, like one of the bosses there who's going to be who's the boss of the bosses uh, he wasn't there so I had to come in for a third interview with him so it's been a nerve-wracking week I can tell you that so and always when you've been to such things you start you know you think everything over what you said and what the questions were about and I always you know come to think of like why did I say that or why didn't I you know bring up this and yeah you always think you could have done better so
Yeah, um, diamond painting. I still haven't received the package from Diamond Art Club, but I'm not complaining. I think it's like just a week ago they sent it. And considering Black Friday and Cyber Monday and Black Week and everything that's going on now around Christmas time, I'm not expecting the package to arrive anytime soon. All what I'm interested in is that it's not smashed or broken or anything. But usually that's not the problem with Diamond Art Club. Uh, and no, I didn't order anything on Black Friday. I didn't go for the BOGO sale. Um, no, no, nothing. Um, so I haven't gotten any, a lot of new kits and oh, there is a queue. So I need to start editing all my unboxings I have filmed. I have a lot of unboxings and I'm releasing one every Monday and I have uh, unboxings pla planned for until mm, the last Monday this month I think and time is like moving fast so I need to start doing something where where was that queue there all right, so what's next? I see a lot of threes. So I'm going to do with go with the threes and that's 38, 35. So um, since I'm not so much into diamond painting, I'm not watching a lot of uh, diamond painting on YouTube either, mostly because I don't want to be enabled, mostly. And, but I have a, a few channels that I follow and watch. Um, Yeah, so what, what else, what else, what else? <clears throat> Did I mention that my older sister, she bought kit i don't know if if it was from a european store or if it if it was from one of our swedish stores but it is uh like you know they order from china and then they s resell them here so either it was a home fun or it was a hue can square and my mom told me that my sister had told her that you know she had just done a small part of the diamond painting and the drills were popping like crazy <sighs> you know it just makes me so sad and we pay i mean we pay like 40 dollars for a diamond painting here in sweden and i would expect that the drills would stay and stick to the canvas I, I've said it before, I think it's so awful that people make money on other people selling them crap. And that is a main thing why I dislike diamond painting. I mean, the craft. I, I enjoy it, but... I don't know. I I never experienced anything like that. Like, um, 
in cross stitching never or in painting or whatever you know it's it's very disappointing it doesn't you know it makes you have to you know it forces you to order kits from you know these places where the diamond paintings are quite expensive you know or they you know they have some form of affiliation with um with the artist which is awesome of course uh but for example you know you feel like well then i can only buy from diamond art book club because i know that they do good kits and drills and whatever or i don't know what other places there's not many if you want you know it not to be copyrighted and all this and good quality and all, all this stuff and that means that you know since i live in sweden i have to pay so much more for shipping and taxes and customs and all that stuff so it's it's is ruining me i can't afford it anymore And it's just a canvas with some glue and some plastic pearls on it. I mean, yeah. So I'm a bit bitter. I am. Now I'm going to do 413. yeah and if actually if i get this new job and if i accept the offer it might take even more of my time and energy and stuff so i might not be able to keep up with the videos i'm not sure we'll see uh I didn't release, I have released every second week something with uh, watercolors or coloring or something. And then I haven't done that this time because I haven't worked with uh, watercolor at all. I don't have the feeling for it. Uh, all I want to do is cross stitch and I believe dearly that you should do what your heart desire and not force you to do stuff because then you just you fall out of love for that craft uh what was it p p 318 but i have received quite a few new um subscribers and I think quite a few of them is because of cross stitching at least my heaven and earth I think that wasn't many P's I see there's an R uh, P where's the R 161 let me check. I think I have a hundred subscribers now. If uh, if there isn't someone who has unsubscribed, of course. Let's see. Whoops. No, 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 no. Stop. Jesus. Hey, I have 102 subscribers. 
thanks everyone for subscribing. That's nice. Makes me happy. I know I'm not the most inventive and most active on YouTube, but I try to put out videos regularly and I'm trying to make a mix of cross stitching and diamond painting at this moment. So yeah, hello everyone. <laughs> Hi, he's upside down. Okay, let's do, let's do uh, X's, X's and that's 760, 760, it's also like maybe a peachy color, X and Y looks quite the same on this canvas. But I like it when, um, you know, the backgrounds of the symbols are colored. So you kind of see the image before you place the drills down. I like that. Oh yeah, I was contacted by Elvina from Victoria's Moon twice. Uh, they want me to try out paint by numbers and I've started one paint by number and not from them from another place uh, and I wasn't very thrilled with the quality of the paint or the you know not the quality but the um, it's it's too thick it's so 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 difficult to paint these small detailed uh, things in the paintings and the brushes aren't the best of course and you know that means you might need to buy new paint you might need to buy new brushes to to enjoy the process I, I don't care so much about how the finish is gonna look I care about the process I don't want to be you know in pain when doing it Uh, I want to enjoy the process. Yeah, so I haven't replied or responded to that. So I guess that's the new thing. 676. I like this one. It's a nice yellow color. Um, maybe they're like asking everyone like they did with the diamond painting but uh it's not that I, it's not that i don't want to try i could do the review uh it's nice with some free stuff but um since i haven't finished the diamond painting yet and i feel that if you say yes to another review for me it's going to be like you have this you have this kind of pressure on your on you that you have to you know prioritize their uh, painting and get it finished and review it and all this and i i don't like that it becomes a job and um yeah i i i don't like that feeling uh it it takes away my uh yeah I, I don't want to continue with the craft if it becomes you know a job that's how i work anyway um okay let's do k 3705 
So I'm not sure what to do if you kind of reply back and say, no, thank you, I'm not interested. Or if if that starts some kind of, you know, email conversation about why and blah, blah, blah. Or if I should just ignore them and they will leave me alone. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I would love to review, but... Um, I don't like that pressure. And also because, you know, my first experience with paint by numbers wasn't positive. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to. So let me know, has anyone else been contacted by Victoria's Moon? Um, considering paint by numbers. And have you agreed? Will you put up a video? I would love to watch some uh, some unboxings and review videos of their paint by numbers. So I'm gonna finish off this section and that will be all for this week I think um, I've joined a couple of cells um, which is gonna continue throughout 2020 and then I have all my heaven and earths and all the new kits I've you know patterns and hand dyed fabrics I've gotten and um heaven and earth released uh oh, jesus amy stewart's latest uh kind of bookshelf it's the fairy once upon a fairy tale oh my god yeah uh and everyone is like going bananas over this and i'm one of them so i've ordered fabric and threads and everything and that's uh super sized max color piece so it's gonna take me a couple of lifetimes to finish since i can't stick to one piece at a time i usually don't get any finishes but i'm enjoying myself and that's what's important in my opinion that was all the case i see a missed nay over there I see I have the notes, the music notes. Can you see them? Um, there and there. 603. Some colors you just learn by heart. Whoops. Oh, no, 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 no. Now I'm not being careful. Not that I have that many drills. You can see on six, three, six oh three, there is not many left. So yeah, I've been uh, oh, talking a long time and I need to edit this thing. So I think I'm just gonna finish this off, off camera. And uh, thank you all for listening and watching and uh, me and my buddy here will see you next week for a new whip and chat so if you have any questions or comments please leave a comment down below uh hey don't forget to hit subscribe because then i will see you next time thank you for watching bye